lost out due to its rather higher maintenance requirements. And you'll notice that uh, we have some extremely uh, suitable attire being worn by the uh, driver and passenger. It is indeed Richard Martin who is driving the locomobile. Richard actually is primarily involved with the motorcycle side of things, but uh, as you can see, he can turn his hand to anything, including to the steering. Sentinel Speed Lorry is the next one to come through. These were actually a bit of a breakthrough when they came along. It uh, has a vertical boiler with a fire right at the bottom. Um, so compared to the earlier Foden type of lorry, they were much faster and had much better hands. Uh, have I got anybody down? I may have. But as I was saying, you see, I have all, I have them all here, but there's no particular order. But actually, this doesn't seem to be down at all. But no worries. As you can see, they're going to have a little bit of fun getting past the Blackbird. Now the Porton Watt truck, the wireless truck, is uh, very much a feature of uh, old Google, uh, being driven by Mr. Wilkinson. One of the more expensive ones to run though, it's about nine miles to the gun. So. Anyway, the Fiend is the next vehicle to come through, as you can see, and Neil Thomas is driving it. This is, uh, this is Stuart's Model T, but uh, it's now being driven by, I'm trying to find his name, Chris Cheeseman, who's also turned up with a couple of very nice balls. He has a Model A, which definitely needs to have a look at, up on the uh, front line there, and uh, also bought a Model Y from the 30s. Now, the Wolseley is being driven uh, the last I heard it was about 1,500 miles on the front, and that's not bad for a nice now, I can't tell you a great deal about the buses because I haven't had a chance to really research them, but this is a lay where all its uh, bearings. 